Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Reviews. Today I have a beer from a new brewery that I have not done a review for yet. Um, this is from Red Stripe Brewing out of Jamaica. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them. They used to do a lot of commercials in the early um, 2010s. I haven't really seen anything about them recently, uh, but they're still kicking... Uh, in Jamaica, I'm trying to see, oh, Kingston, Jamaica, um, but so this isn't part of, this isn't the regular red stripe, and my friend Bo grabbed me this, uh, when he was in Jamaica, <clears throat> and I believe this is only available in Jamaica, or at least it's not available around this part of the U.S., because I've never seen it before, and neither had he, so that's why he grabbed it for me, um, so this is, it's a Red Stripe Sorrel, Sorrel, I don't know how that word is pronounced, um, which says, Sorrel flavored lager beer, and flavored is spelled with a U, so it's, uh, like in the British English, um, and so I, I didn't know, I'd never heard of Sorrel or Sorrel, whatever that is. So I looked it up and it's somewhat similar to uh, Rhubarb where it's like sweet and sour. Um, and yeah, that's all I know about this. It is 3.6 ABV. So it's a pretty, pretty small beer. Um, and I'm not... Uh, like I said, I'm not familiar with sorrel or sorrel, however it's pronounced. I've never had that herb itself, and I don't think I've ever had anything, any beer with it in it. So, completely new experience for me. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't know. I, I do like rhubarb, so if it is like that, I'll probably like it, but who knows? We'll see. This is also a, um, a pretty small bottle. It doesn't look that small, but it's like kind of skinnier than most bottles are. It's like two, 275 milliliters, which I guess, I think I looked it up as like 8.5 ounces. I don't know. It's not very big. Um, but as you can see, it pours a, almost like a rosé color. It's... Uh, it looks a little more pinkish on my side but I, in the camera. I guess it's kind of amber, but it's very clear and pretty light uh, with a small, um, like, really frothy uh, pink head. <sighs> that doesn't smell very promising. Um, so the first thing I get is, like, a skunky character, which kind of makes sense, I guess, from the clear bottle. But I would also assume that there's, like, not much hops in this at all. That there would be that much of a skunk character. <clears throat> I do also get something that, that is, like, potpourri-ish, like, herbal and, fl like, floral. But it's almost like, um, like a cleaner type smell. There, there's definitely something that this smells like, but I can't put my finger on it. Honestly, it smells like an old book. Like, like, or it reminds me of church, like some of the incense they have there and like an old book, like an old Bible or something. It's almost, it is, it's almost a little, like, cedary. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to describe that, what that incense, like, type character is. But that's the big, like, cedary and, um, cedary and, like, old book church incense type thing. It's kind of weird. I uh, wouldn't necessarily say that I like it. We'll see how it tastes. So it has, it has that same flavor, but it's also like 
really s sweet for some reason. And it also, uh, on top of that weird earthy herbal character, it also is like cardboardy, like it's oxidized. I don't know. I honestly can't continue this review, though. I don't think I can drink any more of that. Between the cardboardy character, the weird, like, potpourri-ness, and the, like, overabundance of sweetness, it's just really weird, and I don't like it at all. Uh, on my scale of buy, drink, dump, this one's a dump. Uh... And it is not because, like, I would drink a regular Red Stripe all day. It's whatever that sorrel stuff is that I'm not, not feeling. Because um, a regular skunked lager, I, honestly, I'll drink that. I don't care. I don't, I don't mind that skunky flavor. But the, it's whatever the sorrel flavor is. It, one, the sweetness is, like, way overdone. I don't understand why it's that sweet. I can't imagine that's just from the the herb or whatever that is. It's got to be like an added sweetness, which I don't like. Um, but it, like I said, it just reminds me of oxidation and like an old book, and it's just weird. I, I don't know. I just can't drink any more of it. So on my scale of buy, drink, dump, um, this one's a dump, and I will say I've, it's been a while since I had a dump, but yeah... I know that, that sounded weird. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, I, I, I'm not going to finish this. So, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, that's all I got in this one. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.